Hi, and welcome to a special edition, just a special edition of Hot Takes. This is absolutely breaking news, and it is absolutely massive, massive news. Cold case homicide detectives are now investigating Nicola Sturgeon over COVID care deaths. You have Murder Squad looking at the deaths of the cold case COVIDs. I, I'm stunned. This was breaking. Now, I'm going to be honest and say, uh, Leslie Roberts contacted me earlier today. She said, just be aware, this is going to break. And I, I, I was like, OK, OK. She didn't tell me what it was. She said it's going to be massive. And be aware. It is literally bang. Uh, this is dated uh, at 21.33. As I'm recording this, it's 21.38. Five minutes. It took that long for my computer to boot up. Massive news. Nicola Sturgeon being investigated by murder cops. Let's look at this piece. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of news. It's going to be quick, quick, quick. And if it's a Nicola Sturgeon, you know it's also going to be Gene Freeman. It's going to be all of them. Leslie Roberts was proved right, I think. The cops are taking this dead serious. This is a Merlin exclusive. Let's go. So, as you see, cold case homicide cops, that's the murder squad, are investigating Nicola Sturgeon right now over the COVID care home deaths. We have got the most serious squad in the country looking at Nicola Sturgeon. Exclusive to the Scottish Daily Express, but this has come directly from... Uh, from Merlin, basically. Uh, detectives from the Unresolved Homicide Investigation Team are now involved in the corporate manslaughter complaint against Nicola Sturgeon, Gene Freeman and the Scottish Government. And there they are. The Shipman sisters are now being investigated for the thousands upon thousands of deaths. This is massive news. For God's sake, press subscribe and then share this video. Everybody needs to know that this is happening. Scotland's crack cold case unit is involved in the investigation into claims that Nicola Sturgeon and Gene Freeman broke the law and were responsible for avoidable deaths during the COVID pandemic. This is massive. The former First Minister and her ex-health secretary were reported to Police Scotland in March. Campaigners believe the pair should face corporate manslaughter charges under health and safety law due to the scale of the blunders made and the attempts to cover them up. After an exchange lasting more than four months, former nurse Leslie Roberts, as we know her, Merlin, Merlin of this channel, the greatest person to ever step foot into th this arena, God bless her, has now finished submitting what officers have described as a vast quantity of evidence. A formal statement is being prepared by a detective from the Unresolved Homicide Investigation Team. I expect Nicola Sturgeon to be arrested at any time. The allegations have been folded into Operation Copa, the long-running Crown Office probe launched into COVID deaths in Scottish care homes. Prosecutors are examining 5,500 fatalities and the Lord Advocate Dorothy Bain KC has said it is without doubt the largest investigation of deaths in Scottish history. I'm going to say in British and possibly European history. The unresolved homicide investigation team usually investigates cold, cold case murders with the disappearance, such as the disappearance of, and death of Marion Hodge from Lockerbie in 1984, one of the most recent to be taken on. In correspondence with Miss Roberts, Merlin, the detective says... I'm in the process of compiling the vast amount of information into a form of a statement. Now, I can tell you now, there's around 30 case boxes, you know, those big sort of boxes of documents that have been presented to the police. Evidence after evidence after evidence. I know a lot of this. I, know, I don't know a lot of it. I know a lot of stuff that hasn't been released to the public. Uh, Leslie hasn't given me 1% of, of what she's got, but the 1% she's given me is astounding. This woman is a national hero. This woman needs to be followed. This woman needs to be praised and submitted to the highest amount of praise that is possible to give. She is, if ever it is, not all heroes wear capes, but my God, this woman does. It's stunning. 
and I am so proud to have helped and dealt with and to expand this. Now I'm possibly tomorrow or, or, or Friday I'll be doing an interview with Merlin and we'll be talking about all this. So do please hit that subscribe button. Stur, Stur, Sturgeon. I'm, I'm, I'm still getting my brain around this. Sturgeon investigated by murder detectives is stunning. Uh, thank you for your patience in this matter, says the detective. I do have numerous other actions in respect of Operation Cobra and other ongoing investigations. However, I'm I am keen to complete your statement as soon as possible. The trouble is this statement is massive. It's, like I say, nearly 30 boxes, 5,500 documents. And, uh, and there's, there's evidence that I'm not going to talk about because it's part of it. So I, I, I know, but I'm not going to talk. Ms. Roberts has been working alongside former health and safety prosecutor Roger Livermore and fellow NHS whistleblower Rab Wilson. Both these guys have agreed at some point they're going to talk to us on the channel. Seriously, you know, you've got to keep up with this. Their complaint has three key points. The deadly possible, uh, the deadly policy, my apologies, the deadly policy of moving hospital patients untested into care homes. The efficacy of face masks for health and social care workers and the use of do not resuscitate forms. Speaking to the Scottish Daily Express, the former NHS Glasgow and Clyde nurse and Unite Trade Union rep said she was really relieved to have completed the mammoth task of submitting all her evidence. It's taken Leslie years and literally getting up every day, working on it for about three years. The truth comes out, the truth is damaging. We have said many times on this channel that the one thing the SNP cannot abide is the truth. And boy, is the truth going to damage them. This is immense news. Anyway, talking, um, uh, you know, she, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm still stunned by this. Anyway, Leslie said, I have ensured the focus is on Nicola Sturgeon, Jane Freeman and the Scottish Government, she added. Mistakes were made across the public sector. However, the blame lies squarely at their door. They were saying that face masks would protect frontline workers and they were lying through their teeth. And as we've, we've discussed on previous videos where we've had different people saying, definitely, it was not PPE. They lied. They outright lied to workers, to the people. How can public sector organisations do anything about the ineffective PPE they were given when the government were blatantly lying about it being safe? We know there was a blanket use of do not resuscitate orders and we know the order came from the very top. And we've already discussed on here when uh, Leslie revealed that letter from G Freeman thanking everyone from clearing us nearly a thousand beds in such a short time just before lockdown. And yet when you look at the COVID manual, one of the quote you know, treatments for COVID was a euthanization, a euthanasia practice used for terminal patients. It's not surprising so many beds were cleared, is it? I mean, you've got to look at these two and think, you know, Sobibor, Auschwitz, Gakau, they are no different. Um, Ms. Roberts said that she had cited the infamous example of Professor June Andrews, the former director of the Scottish Government Centre for Change and Innovation in her evidence. In March 2020, she told a Holyrood committee the pandemic would be quite useful in clearing bed blocking in hospital by killing off patients. She admitted her remarks to MSPs could be seen as horrific and later insisted she'd been speaking ironically, which is, I think, a lie. Miss Roberts said, I think there was something very sinister going on and the lives of the elderly and the most vulnerable were taken as a result. And that is why I went down the route of taking this to the police. And I will say that uh, Leslie lost her own mother at this time as a subject of a do not resuscitate order. It is horrific. It is a death sentence imposed not through clinical uh, you know, dis decisions, but by an administrative decision in order to clear beds. Just get these people out. They're nothing. These people, they can just die. Just let, just let them die. As signed off by Gene Freeman. But the order would have come from higher up. She said, I didn't go into nursing to watch patients die and I didn't become a union rep to watch members to be put at risk due to unsafe PPE. Instead of protecting the vulnerable, the powers that be at the start of this pandemic were discussing how to get rid of them. 
going into COVID, they didn't have a clue. And they didn't even try to do away, and they, sorry, and they even tried to do away with the Freedom of Information, the Health and Safety at Work Act, and even the Human Rights Act. They were all being ignored in favour of the Scottish Government's guidance, which was meaningless, and yet ended up superseding the law when it should have been the other way round. In April 22, Miss Sturgeon told MSPs she will feel the weight of the decision to send untested hospital patients to care homes causing deadly COVID outbreaks every day for the rest of her life. But she disputed a High Court judgment that found a similar policy in England was unlawful, unreasonable, irrational and cost lives. And she denied claims from Scottish Labour leader Anna Sawar that it had been a shameful and unforgivable and criminal act. Well, I think she's about to find out that it'll definitely be an, uh, an unforgivable and criminal act. I believe HM Plod are looking to do an arrest with very short notice. A Scottish Government spokesperson said it would be inappropriate to comment on any live investigation by the Independent Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service, which is obviously a lie, but it's the line they take when they know that they are in deep, deep shit and that the former leader is about to be arrested by murder detectives. It is brilliant. It is the final unerring proof that the SNP are no different from the National Socialists of Germany in the 1930s with their desire to basically genocide old people. And the leader of that was Nicola Sturgeon and Jean Freeman, the Shipman sisters. And I'm going to come up now. At this point, I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much to Leslie Roberts in everything that you've done. We're now looking at murder detectives investigating the Shipman sisters and others for 5,500 deaths. I don't need to say any more. I'm just going to stop. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. There is more to come. This is breaking news. We'll have a We'll have a, uh, another video in the morning. We'll, we'll expand on this. this. Like I say, this is brand new. There's very little to go on. By the morning press, there'll be tons. Uh, and I'm hoping to get Leslie either tomorrow or on Friday in. We'll have her for an interview. So do please hit that subscribe button and spread this video. Please share this video. Like and share, like and share, like and share. Let's get this out and let's get the whole, I was going to say the whole of Scotland, the whole of the world aware that a national leader has committed or possibly committed the most heinous act 5,500 times. Goodbye.